In this video, we are going to look at what a Zudo code is. Well, after a system has been designed, the next process is coding. However, before the actual coding, Zudo code is written. Zudo code for the basic operating principles, workflows and data flows. Once Zudo code is written, the programmer just looks at it and translates it into the code of whatever language he or she is using. Let's look at a Zudo code so that you will understand what it actually is. So as you can see here, it's very English like, but it does not use a typical programming language, which only a programmer can understand. Take num1 as input from user. So you've understood one number has to be taken as input. Take num2 as input from the user. So the number two has be, to be taken as input. If num2 is equal to zero, then flash a message. Otherwise, you do something else. So this all has been written here, complete with the control structures. If, then, else so that the whole flow of the data through this process is very clear. Now all that the programmer needs to do is convert each sentence here of the Zudo code into the corresponding programming language code and he will have the complete code ready. So you have seen how a Zudo code helps the programmer in coding. You can see here that there are many mathematical calculations being done here. Let me tell you that whatever the problem at the end, at the level of the machine, it is implemented as mathematical operations or logical comparisons. So these are very important for any software. So system analysts identify all the mathematical operations that are to be carried out at the phase of system design itself. In our next video, we are going to cover how identifying of mathematical operations can be done.